Now then, folks, uh, it's time to get involved with the show because we want you uh, to text in on the topic of overly organised fun. And this is because on uh, Thursday this past week, whilst Ellis was set for the premiere BBC Three's Crimes, I was preparing <laughs> an epic, epic pub crawl. It was hashtag Oxford Day. Me and my best friend Robin returned to the place of our joy, of our love, <laughs> and of the past, uh, the uh, the uh, university town of Oxford, to complete an attempted eight pub crawl. Um, and suffice to say, I and he planned it to sort of with machine tooled precision for about two months beforehand. Right. So it was like the inside of a Mercedes. It was like the inside of a tank. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I, we, I gave us both little notebooks to take around, Sherlock Holmes themed. And in the front page of each notebook, I'd written down the schedule to the minute. And uh, we've tweeted and uh, Facebooked a photo of that schedule because I've brought it in. So our arrival, what time we were eating. I think crucially for any pub crawl aficionados, we had scheduled a slump slash food break. <laughs> because our biggest fear was hitting that sort of 6.30, 7 o'clock tiredness where you kind of think, oh, I need to lie down. That was not on the cards. It was out of the question. And uh, amazingly, we managed not only to complete the eight pubs within the schedule, but we got in two extra pubs. Oh, cool. Though. Ten pubs. Cool. Though. Twelve drinks in ten pubs. Did you have an espresso martini to perk you up? No, we had a Jaeger bomb in the Jew the Obscure. <laughs> <laughs> we were in, we'd gone somewhere for food, we weren't planning to go, and the food was late, which kind of messed things up, but then the barman gave us free drinks, which also messed things up a bit, because we had more drinks than we were expecting. So we th we just turned to each other and went, we can still do Juju Biscuit. So we ran in, got a, uh, a Jaeger bomb, headed out to the Harcourt Arms. Classic Oxford pubbing. Um, so, folks, we want to hear from you. What events have you really overly planned uh, maybe a stag do where someone's taken it a bit too far a uh, Christmas event or, or reunion of some such have you ever done a military precision tooled pub crawl because for example? some people think that organised fun means it's not fun but I disagree that sounds great that pub crawl and it's the organisation is the most fun <laughs> because it's like you're dreaming about yeah. perfection I mean you're a person who has a, fi a lever arch file for everything uh, well absolutely you've shown me that <laughs> yeah, well, it was my, yeah, but that's why I have more competitively priced utilities than you do. <laughs> so in the little notebook at each pub, we made uh, a note of the time we arrived, um, the drinks we had, and then we rated it in f out of four different categories. So I'll give you the example. This is the first pub, The Star. Scheduled arrival 5pm, actual arrival 4.50pm. <laughs> also, also, I imagine that this is the tidiest your writing is. It gets pretty scrawled towards the end of the book. <laughs> the Star, 4.50pm. Empty, The Smiths playing, brackets, full album on the speakers. Sat next to the table from that photo ten years ago. Rob drank Compass Isis Pale, 4.1%. John drank Fuller's Jack Frost, 4.5%, three exclamation marks, because it's stronger than I was planning. And then just the quote, no greater bliss. Uh, then ale, four out of five. Atmos, five out of five. Nostalgia, three out of five. Staff, four out of five. And then we sort of totted them up at the end. Very good. So if you've ever gone completely mad, uh, like me and my friend Robin did in our Oxford day, let us know. Uh, you can tweet at XFM, text 83936. And if you want to check out photos from uh, the, the crawl, then it's the hash hashtag is Oxford Day. Or you can <laughs> oh check my it on, on my Twitter, uh, <laughs> at Nomadic Reverie. So this is the Lemonheads, and this is Robinson. Qualo! <laughs> 